The state plans to conduct another homeless outreach this morning along two very busy highways. Yeah, H1 Freeway and Nimitz Highway. Jai is in Evie this morning on what's being planned. What you need to know, Jai. Hey guys, you know what, Chris, Ron, in about two and a half hours, that's when the state, it's a sort of multi agency uh, uh, effort that's going to be going forward. It starts at 8 30, is this outreach. Now, if you've driven down Nimitz Highway lately, you've probably seen a number of different encampments, and they're literally right on the highway, uh, taking up parts of the sidewalk. And right over my shoulder here, we're down right at the edge of Chinatown, River Street. That's where the outreach is going to start. It's going to make its way all the way out to the airport. Scott Morishige, he is the state coordinator uh, when it comes to the homeless issue. Scott, I know we've talked a lot, and I appreciate you joining us this morning live right here on Wake Up Today. Is the problem getting any better? Because I'm just a regular resident. I drive down Nimitz Highway. I do see it. It moves, whether it be at Lowe's, whether it be here at River Street. Are we making any ground up. Yes, definitely. I think on an overall level, we are starting to make progress. When you look at the statewide um, homeless point in time count numbers, this year we saw a 9% decrease statewide. That's the first decrease in our homeless population we've seen in eight years. So I think definitely we are making progress, but we need to um, continue assertive outreach efforts, especially for the chronically homeless individuals we're seeing in these areas along Nimitz and along the H1 corridor. It takes repeated efforts, sometimes as many as 10, 20 contacts with someone before we're able to engage someone and get them at least on the path to shelter and the path to housing. What are some of the issues that these folks are dealing with? You, you call them the, basically the chronic homeless. So these are people who have not been homeless for months. We're talking about years they've been on the streets. Some of the problems you guys have to face when dealing with them. Well, it's a combination of so there's some individuals with mental health challenges, some who are struggling with addiction, and then others with more basic challenges, just that they have no documentation at all, no um, picture ID or no even supporting documents. Um, so it takes a lot just to get all those pieces in place. People don't realize how um, critical something as simple as a picture ID is just to be able to access housing or even employment or other types of income benefits. So you're literally talking about some of these folks have nothing at all. They mm -hmm. literally only have the stuff they've collected on the street. Yeah, correct. And that's why I think when the state uh, moves forward, we want to make sure that we're doing it in a way where we're able to respect people's belongings and property. There is a process in place to store people's belongings, a process in place for people to retrieve it. We always want to make sure that we're also going out with outreach providers to make sure we're offering services every time we go out. Scott, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Talking to him also in the next half hour about the different agencies. So it's it's not only the homeless uh, coordinator and, and his office that's working with it. It's also state sheriffs as well as the Department of Transportation. Tell you more about the scope of the work in the next half hour. Ron, Christine.